Hi guys, we'd like to share with you guys an amazing pizza. Look at this. New York style, real keto pizza. Pizza night is back. We're so excited. Just fresh out of the oven. It's amazing. It's so delicious. You are gonna love it. The crust is crunchy. It's crunchy. Listen to that. It smells really good. Mm. You're not gonna believe it. It's a great recipe. It really is so delicious. Oh, that's mm. amazing. You're you guys have it. to make this. You guys have to try this. Delicious. Please subscribe. We first picked this up from a YouTuber named Keto King. He does a pretty good recipe and we tried it a few times, but for us it came out pretty dry. So there's a few tips and tricks that we're gonna do to make it a little bit better. And it comes out incredibly delicious and awesome. Same as the bread, we've got oat fiber, flaxseed meal, vital wheat gluten and sweetener, two eggs, four tablespoons of butter, yeast and honey, we're adding now almond flour that lightens up the dough a bit and makes it nice and fluffy for pizza. So let's get started. We're gonna put the butter and the eggs out to warm. So I'm just gonna crack the eggs and scramble them up. What we've discovered with this pizza dough is it's actually really versatile and you can use it for a couple of other amazing things. So today I'm making a double recipe. Um, so as you see me weigh things out, this is gonna be double uh, a regular amount that you can get two good pizzas out of. So I'm gonna do 40 grams of oat fiber, normally 20. Here we go. Put that into the mixer. Next up is the almond flour. So we want uh, 32 times two, so 64 grams of this. Right there. So the vital wheat gluten, we want 95 times two is 190. And then we're gonna put a little bit of the flax seed and it gives a nice golden flavor and a nice little texture to it. 30 grams times two, we're gonna put 60 grams. Next up, 15 grams of keto sweetener, uh, whatever one you like. Uh, times two, so 30 for us. A little over, no big deal. Put the mixer, and this is already measured out, a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, a quarter teaspoon in the regular recipe. And finally, for the dry ingredients, we have seven grams of salt. You would half this for the regular. We've got a uh, half a cup times two, so one cup of hot water. We've got a tablespoon of yeast, one and a half teaspoons if you're doing the regular size. And we're gonna put a teaspoon of honey in for the yeast to feed on. Half a teaspoon for regular recipe. Give that a quick stir. Get our yeast in there. Another quick stir. And voila right into the mixer, along with our two eggs, slightly warmed up, and our four tablespoons of butter, also melted. Give this a quick mix. I'll use the regular paddle and how it comes together as a dough. Okay, we've switched to the kneading hook, and just like the sandwich bread, we're gonna run this for seven minutes. Occasionally the ball of dough will start to get stuck on the kneading hook and not get too much kneading effort put into it. So I just take it off, make it into a little ball. It's really sticky, this one. It's gonna be great. More kneading. Okay, seven minutes is done. Let's take a look at our dough. Wow, okay, check it out. Get it off the hook here. So this is a lot less sticky and just what we want. Super stretchy, stretchy, the gluten's activated. Awesome, we are ready to rise. Let's find a nice big rising bowl. I like to just spray a little olive oil in it. It's not too, it has no place to stick. 
form a nice little round ball. Now you can handle it. You can see it's just like really smooth and beautiful. This is the golden flax. Gives you a nice little texture in there. I like that on the pizza crust. All right, we're gonna stick this in a bowl, put some plastic on it. Put it in our rising temperature oven for about an hour. So while our dough is rising, we're gonna get our sauce and our toppings ready. We just use some tomato paste and seasonings and olive oil and throw it right on the pizza dough and in the oven and it comes out awesome. Uh, we also like to go with pepperoni. This is a pepper, a nice beautiful poblano pepper and some onion and some black olives. And then mostly the shredded mozzarella and we're gonna put a little bit of cheddar too on it just to give it a little tang. Uh, let's get started with the sauce. It's pretty easy. So we're making two pizzas here today. So I'm just gonna go and do about two big spoons per pizza, so that's four. So one, two, three, four. This is, so that looks like about half a cup of tomato paste. I'm gonna drizzle with a little olive oil, not too much, and then give it some seasoning. Um, so we have black pepper. This is, again, to your taste, this is what we do and it comes out pretty good. We've got minced onion, just a little bit of that. I need to get some more. Um, this is enough for it. A little bit of that. Uh, oregano, staple of the pizza land. A lot of oregano is good. Some basil, again, generous with the basil is pretty good. Yeah, if you've got pizza seasoning lying around, you can use that. That's no fun though. Uh, it's nice to make your own. Parsley, parsley goes in with it well. Garlic powder, really good flavor. And gives it a lot more of that pizza vibe. So salt to taste, I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. And we are ready to mix that up. And that's it, you don't have to cook it. You don't have to do anything else with that. You get your tomato paste, your olive oil, salt and seasonings. And this, when it cooks, just comes out fabulous sauce is ready. So I've pre-measured out in two bowls for the two pizzas, about a cup and a half of the shredded mozzarella. And I'm just gonna go in and put a little bit more of this beautiful sharp cheddar. Maybe about another half cup on each. Okay, here we are with our poblano pepper. I'm just gonna slice the sides off of it. Just go in with a nice thin julienne. Same with the onion. Uh, medium onion, I'm probably just gonna use about a half or a quarter of it, you know. Onions are more high in carb, as you probably know, and you might be avoiding them. So again, do what you like with your toppings. Uh, but it doesn't bother us, and we really like the flavor of it, especially as it caramelizes in the oven. Uh, we put it on top of the pizza raw, and then it just gets really delicious. So in moderation, onions work for us. Otherwise, we've got some olives and pepperoni, and we just have these uh, pitted olives that we're just gonna chop up roughly. Olives are super low in carb and super healthy, so be generous if you like them. Why wouldn't you? Not to be too fancy, another rough chop. Toppings are all set. Our dough has been rising for about an hour. Let's check it out. Wow, look at how big that got. That's awesome. So shiny and beautiful. Really poofed up. So it's still sticky, it's still really delicate. So have some soft butter handy. On clean hands, get your butter, your hands all buttered up. And let's get this separated. it now. Put this half back for our other recipes and let's shape these into pizza dough. Get it in two pieces and don't play with it too much. Just get it into a round shape. So our inspiration for this recipe is the version from Keto King. We'll link to it again. 
and at this stage he tells you to put it in the oven just like this stretch it out get it big which I'm going to show you how to do and blind bake it the first few times we did it like that the crust was too dry for our taste um, so what I realized from my regular baking experience is that this is actually just perfect pizza dough by itself it's stretchy it's springy and so we tried it we said okay stretch it out like regular pizza dough put your toppings put it right in the oven and it came out fabulous plus there's one secret trick you have to stay till the end of the video for so as you can see these are already nice and round one trick from stretching out pizza dough when it's soft when it's fresh like this put it on the side let it rest while you're working on the other one. That gives the gluten a chance to relax and then lets you stretch it even bigger. So we're just going for nice big pizzas as much as we can. If it doesn't, look, this is a triangle. You know what, just keep going with it. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. All right, so that one's getting bigger. We'll put that one on the side. Go back to our other one, fast and easy. I was just gonna just keep pushing on the crust with a little bit of strength. It's just great dough, super awesome. At some point, you wanna get it on your final your final baking tray, silicon or, or parchment paper, and you can just keep pushing the crust out with your fingers. Now that the dough is relaxed, look at how nice and big and beautiful that gets. See, it's staying in place, it's not springing back. The dough is nice and rested. Our oven's almost preheated, so we can start to put toppings. Our same sauce has been hanging out, waiting. Half on one, half on the other. Spread it out evenly. Leave as much or a little dry crust as you want. Mmm, smells like real pizza already. It is real pizza, why not? It's got your gluten, it's got your yeast, it's got all your toppings. No compromising here. We've got our pre-measured bowl of cheese. Start on the edge. Fill it all in. All right, let's start with the exciting toppings now. Start in with some onions. Spread those out, thin sliced raw onions. Green pepper, arrange it how you like. Black olives, oh yum. Looks good. We'll go in with some pepperoni. Ready. We've got a 450 degree oven. If you've got a pizza mode, go ahead and use it. Otherwise, get it on convection. And these guys are going right in. They're gonna bake for about 15 minutes, and since you're doing two, it's a good idea to swap them and rotate them halfway through. Look at that. Here's number two. Beautiful. All right, so the first thing we have to do immediately after you take them out of the oven is our secret to amazing keto pizza. You have some room temperature butter and a brush. Get it all loaded up, that butter, and hit the crust with that butter. It melts right away. This is to prevent any dryness or chewiness going on in that beautiful crust that you worked hard on. Don't miss any spot. Be generous. Secret ingredient is always butter. Let's go. I'm gonna do number two over here. A little bit of extra there on it, no problem. Again, just butter your crust as soon as it comes out of the oven and you'll be loving it. We're ready to serve. I'm just gonna go in with a sharp knife. Got a pizza cutter you like, you can use that too. Cuts beautifully, look at the crust. Look at how nice and fluffy that is and then goes right nice and thin and strong. Awesome. Cut eight slices. Serve it with whatever you like, good salad.
and trust us, you are not gonna miss regular pizza anymore if you try this recipe. Tell us what you think in the comments and see if you can guess what we're gonna, what else we're gonna do with the dough. That's gonna be an amazing one. Make sure you come back, so subscribe and don't miss when we post it. Bon appetit.